Hello YouTube, this is Yulon Yulanda, so I'm going to be showing you how to install the web displays mod. Uh, this is an update video to the old video, which almost nearly just a thousand people were pissed with, because um, they didn't know how to do it, because I didn't particularly show them properly or something, so I'm going to do it again. This is an update, updated video. If anything's changed, you're going to be seeing the changes right now. Um, so, here we go. So I'm actually going to include how to install Forge in this. You can skip ahead. I'll put a number on the screen right now. We can skip ahead too if you just want to go straight to the web displays mod. Okay, so Forge. Uh, first thing you want to know before you install Forge is... Well, first things first. Let's go app data. App data, like that. Go to roaming. Go to the .minecraft folder. Now, to be safe and sorry, it will just delete every single thing in here. If you want to be safe and sorry, make sure you do all this the correct way. Just delete absolutely everything. Alright, now log into Minecraft and install the version you want. Okay, we're now logged in. So, we're going to go to New Profile. Or well, actually, instead of New Profile, let's just Edit Profile. We're going to use the 1.7.10 version. Save Profile. Play. And let it download. Okay, now that it's installed, let it fully run up. That's it, it's run up. Quick game. Okay, to actually get Forge itself, you know, I'm going to go to the Forge site, go navigate to the 1.7.10, then you're going to want to download the latest version of it. Installer. This is an ad, do not click it. Up here, you don't want to click skip then it's going to download forge yeah ads are irritating but they do give money to the developers so if you really want to give um, extra money to the developers just click on them I do it every now and then but I can't do it every single time it's just irritating sometimes ok we've got forge click it run it Okay, it's here. Install client. Okay. Okay. Successfully installed. Run Minecraft again. Okay, you're going to want to go down here and select Forge and then play. As you can see, it'll add a mods folder into the actual directory where the, all the Minecraft stuff is created. So, yeah, just make sure it all starts up. You should see mods right here. Okay, exit. Now this is where the fun begins. You're actually going to install the web displays mod now. You want to go to the link, which will be in the description once again. You want to go to downloads. It'll be in a spoiler section. Um, you're going to need two mods, basically, to, to put it plainly. Um, and basically, you need the MCEF, um, and you need the actual mod. So, we'll download the actual mod first, but remember this won't work unless you have the MCEF in, in the folder. So we'll download that, keep it, and then we'll download the MCEF. This will take us to the actual um, new page which is created specifically for this. Then you want to click the corresponding link that'll go along with the 1.7.10 and download. There we go. Now you want to chuck these into the mod folder that that's in your new .minecraft, your freshly clean .minecraft. So that's in the mod folder. Then we'll chuck the web displays mod inside the mod folder, and that should be it. Very simple if you know what you're doing. Um, if you don't know what you're doing, it's very difficult. That's pretty much the definition of something being easy. You know what you're doing. So then just start up Minecraft and I'll just make sure that it's working properly. Here we go. Here's the core file downloading, uh, which is the core file needed for the web displays mod. It didn't, you didn't used to need it, but now you do. There it is. It's downloaded. Okay. It says down there five mods located and five mods, uh, mods are active. So we've got the coder pack, mod loader, forge, chlorium, and I need to turn off that music. <laughs> there we go. And uh, we also have the web displays. So if we go to single player, create a new world, 
uh, was a lot of cheats. Great. If we, as you can see, now have the web displays mod. So, web screens, the computer interfaces or remotes, and etc. See, so it's all in, all working, and uh, yeah. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you have any questions be sure to leave them below and I'll try to answer them to the best of my abilities.